I'm recording. Oh, oh, Matthew Bailey started recording. Yes, welcome to the show, Sidness. Thank you for having me. Uh, I want some more welcomes as well because I've got some special guests. Your special guest, what ghost the dog? Oh, the ghost. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Just paying attention to the monks show. That's good then. That's You've got Maisie the cat there. Wow. And the other little show you had just wandered in. Wondering what damage she can cause. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, so it's like an animal farm up here. Yeah, same as that, same as that at my house. I've got really four dogs, and I? Yo, um, I'm well okay with one. Yeah, when well, you nearly had two. You nearly had two. No, 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 nearly. No, 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 no. We weren't having none of that. Oh, I think if you'd have kept on, you'd have quit. You'd have given up. No. No, one's enough. Ain't ya? Dopey. Just away. Yeah, I'm not surprised Billy Charlie ain't panicking away. I go, fuck him. It's my chilli off the side. Twat. Oh, he stole the monk's famous chilli. Yeah, well, the leftovers of it anyway. Is swearing aloud on this podcast or is this PG-13? No, it's not PG-13. This is what the fuck you want to say. Well, we'll be shitting through the eye of a needle later then. Yeah, well, that's why the back door's open. (laughs) Fuck who now? One of those kidney beans fucking it. Jesus. He was panting away earlier. He was having a good old pant. I thought, yeah, he's fucking no. But it was just supposed to be a mild one, but it's fucking hot as fuck. Yeah. You don't know how dogs, they have like different tastes, don't they? Different taste buds and all shit like that. So you know, what's mild to you might be hot for them. So oh, yeah, well, it was well, saying it is mild, but it was hot to me. Yeah. Oh, so bastard. What are you getting for dinner tomorrow, Vindaloo? Sure. You got nothing. <laughs> oh. Poor Charlie. Bless him. Ghost remembers Charlie. Yeah, the rapist. Yeah, she remembers running for her life. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I've never seen the dog run so much. Uh, what's what's on the agenda? What do you wish to talk about? Anything you like. I think we can talk about a bit of white, bit of white collar. We can talk about a bit of UFC. What happened over the weekend? Oh, UFC. Wait, one. We had bloody Israel Sanya. Don't it? He lost his title. Is yeah, he's like- losing. I don't follow it as closely as you. I'll keep an eye out for the results. So, yeah, that was a bit of an upset, wasn't it? Yeah, he, well, he was winning the fight. Yeah. He was winning the fight three rounds to one, and the fifth round came in, and Matey Boy just emptied his gas tank on, on his fucking head. I think you're fine, though, in there. Because they've had two previous fights, haven't they? Yeah. Herrera's won both of them. Yeah. I think the second one where he knocked him out, I think it was pretty much the same. I think Israel yeah. was winning. Israel was winning. Caught him. Yeah, and he just caught him with that left hook. Yeah, you're a dangerous man, aren't he? Big fella. Oh, yeah, he struggled to make weight, Sid. He, um, he had five minutes to go before the weigh-in shut. Yeah. They had to drag him on stage, and he just made weight. Yeah, but he wanted the... Uh, Israel fight, because that's a fucking money fight, isn't it? Jesus. They'll have it again as well. There'll be a rematch of that. Yeah. Even though, do you think there should be a rematch? Um, I think Israel deserves a rematch for how long he had the title for. He's free and over, technically, down to the bloke. Yeah, but not, not in MMA, he ain't. he's only one and oh. He's yeah. Like- so this is what I've been seeing going around. How do you think I think your mate Chael Sonnen said it, and I see it on Facebook. How do you think Pereira does against the rest of the division? I think he, he gets fucked over. Mm. Unless, he, unless he catches him with a good shot. I don't think he does bad until we... If he takes Robert Rittaker on, he's lost. That's exactly what I was about to say. 
Bobby Knuckles, Robert yeah. Whitaker. He's a bloke's class. Oh, he's, he's the man. And Robert Whitaker will be so glad his role lost now. Mm. Because that opens it up again for him to have another title shot. I think he would have got another one eventually against... Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Whitaker's like Israel. You look at Israel, Israel's lapping the division, but <laughs> Whitaker's lapping the division as well. He just He's not the champion. He's beating everyone else in the division once, yeah. twice over. Yeah, and that's why that Piera fight come up, to be honest. Yeah, well, it was a different fight, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Shout out to your crazy dog. It's a good it's a fight which sells as well, Israel Pereira. Oh, yeah. Oh, it th- th- sells all day long. Did you manage to catch um, the Michael Charles and Dustin Poirier fight? No, I've not seen any of it, mate. Oh, well, they beat the, the results. Fuck. They beat the fuck out of each other. Yeah. I mean, beat the shit out of each other. It's a really good fight. Best fight of the night. Fight Neon fight of the year. Got to be. Yeah. Chandler Gaethje. Yeah, well, that if Chandler's in one of the fights of the year, I'll tell you. Because they beat the shit out of each other. The problem with Chandler, he puts on these excellent fights, and he does put on his excellent fights, but he's not beat anyone. Maybe Dan Hooker and Tony Ferguson. Well, Tony Ferguson's on the decline a bit. Yeah. And Dan, Dan Hooker, Hooker's on, he's just on the cusp of being good, but yeah. not quite. Every time he's gone in against someone who's... Above him, he's fucked it. Yeah. You look at Charles Oliveira. He went in against him, and he could have put him out in the first round. Well, that happens with Charles, though. Yeah. That happens with Charles. Charles is very hittable. Yeah, Gaith G. He went in against Gaith G. They put on a brilliant fight, but Gaith G won. And now, uh, Puyo. Yeah, D- Dustin Poirier, that was a great fight. And not, I don't think I've seen it, but I'm pretty sure Ferguson was putting on a good show yeah. against him as well. First round, he put on a good show and he just got caught that kick. Yeah. The thing is, I think Odd Charles is an all or nothing fighter. You know what I mean? He just yeah, got- I think he's a very entertaining fighter. I don't think for the talent which you have, in the UFC, he, he's not a championship fighter. No, don't you think so? Well, what, what do you think would happen if you stuck Chandler in against Islam? Oh, fuck me. Islam will smash him. Dead location. Dead location. <laughs> that's, that's your champion. That's your standard bearer. Islam. Yeah. And fuck, those are the who doesn't give Islam the first fight to? Oh, fuck no. Hey, uh, what was that? Fuck no, Islam's going to have his first fight against... Oh, uh, I do know, Volkanovski. Yeah, Volkanovski in Australia. Yeah, well, Islam wins that. Vol- Volk's too small. Unfortunately. Yeah, but fair play to the bloke for moving up in weight. Well, he, do- he doesn't lose nothing. He gains. No. To lose. Even if he lost, he wouldn't lose no fans or nothing. And I mean, Volkanovski is a slippery little fucker, isn't he? Yeah, and he won't have to lose any weight to um to fight, mm. which would be which would be nice for him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or he put on when he beat Ortega. Ortega got him in a guillotine. Yeah. Oh my God. He he said he said afterwards he said he prayed to the God God and he got out of it, didn't he? Yeah, he got out of it somehow. You can see the veins on his head fucking, <laughs> fucking popping. Oh, Jesus he, Christ. He could hold it no more. Then then he went and smashed the fucker. That was a great fight. That's another good fight. Yeah. I still think he's lost one in the UFC. Oh, I think Max, Max Holloway beat him the second time. Second fight. Same here. Yeah. But, I think uh, I, old Max, he was hard done by. Yeah, first fight he lost. Second fight he won. Third fight he lost. He, he got his ass whipped. Yeah. Volkanovski had figured it out, out by then. Yeah, and I think Max is on the cusp of on the way down, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Brilliant fighter. Oh, 
Clever fighter. Clever fighter. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Max in a different weight class, a lower one. Wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it get harder to cut weight as you get older, but Fucking don't tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor Max. I, th I think he... Joe Dialdo had done it. And he did really well. Yeah. He did really well. He lost some couple of fights, but he didn't lose that many. Joe Dialdo was the beast. After he lost to Connor, he disappeared, didn't he? Yeah. But he was still knocking about, was he not? Yeah. Didn't he have a he had title fight with Max after he lost to Connor? Did he not? Um, 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 that's um, 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 it's the fourth, I think. Was it? I thought he beat Connor, beat him. Connor knocked him. Then Connor went up. Yeah, and, the, oh yeah, it did. And Jose, Jose stayed where he was. Yeah, on forty-five. Then yeah. he lost to Max, and then dropped down in weight. <sighs> Um, you're the UFC expert, mate. Are you gonna argue with you? I think I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Yeah. I love Joe Aldo. He's a great fighter. I th I think if you're fighting for a UFC or something like that, you're oh, got yeah. to be a great fighter. All of them are great fighters. They're tough as fuck. All fucking batshit crazy, ain't they? Yeah. What do you think of that, Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva? What do you think of all that? I'd rather. Stick sand in my eyes, <laughs> and then have a shit and clap and watch that. It's bloody. Um, it, it was sad to watch. It was it's, just it's not to, my cup of tea. Just taking on an old man. To be honest, Anderson yeah. did really well. He did what he's supposed to do, but bottom end, he was a forty-seven-year-old man taking on a twenty-two-year-old bloke. Yeah. This is what the fucking kids of today are fucking watching, and they think this is fucking boxing. Oh, They're watching Deji fucking Vince Floyd and fucking Tommy fucking Fury. Did Floyd know that Jake she out? Uh, I think so. I think so, yeah. I think I heard, I heard, I was sure that I was watching MMA hour earlier, and I was sure he said that. Yeah. But it, I didn't really cover much of it because he, he's not into fucking. Yeah, this is what children are watching and thinking this is fucking boxing. It's not fucking boxing. You want to watch boxing, stick on fucking Ali Fraser, Ali fucking Foreman. Oh, that's fucking boxing, all right. Watch fucking <laughs> Gatty Ward. Yeah. Take oh, a pick. Uh, Take a pick what Gatty Ward one you want to watch. There's loads of fucking great actual fucking boxing fucking fights out there. Costa Zoo versus Ricky Hatton. They are the good fights. Yeah. Watch any fucking Cal Frock fight. I used to like watching Cal Frock. Oh, I've got his autograph just at that wall over there. Yeah, I think I was there when you bought it. Yeah, yeah. When people have to tell me to stop sticking my hand up. <laughs> stop watching <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah, I used to love watching Cal Frock fight. That's boxing to me. This YouTube shit which is coming out. It's, it's not fucking boxing. And I can't fucking stand watching the fucking build up to it as well. You got like to Jake Paul saying this is the fucking fight game to like Ben Askren. Fucking Ben fucking Askren. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. fucking Ben Askren, he'd fucking kill you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, ben Askren had one fucking hit for starters. Yeah. Ben Askren had one fucking hit for starters. Yeah. Saying shout to Tyrone Woodley. Fucking great fucking fighter. In the cage, see what happens to you. Yeah, yeah. I just no, I I don't. I think it somewhat takes away from the actual fucking boxers, if you know what I mean. I'm pretty it's sure. Take on boxers. I see one of these Jake Paul events. This was about a year, year and a half ago. I might be wrong. And you had um Billy Joe Saunders defending a title or something on the undercard. Yes, yes, he did. That was fucking that was Billy fun. Joe, fucking, fucking ex world fucking champion, and he's fighting on the undercard to a fucking YouTuber. It's okay. fucking madness. Yeah, they must have fucking paid him a tidy sum for him to do that. Oh, they're making, they're making good money from it. It's just, it's not what I constitute as fucking boxing. No, I agree. 
but it's entertainment. Mm. Someone will knock him. Someone will knock Jake Paul. Knock him out. Him out. Someone, yeah. Someone. Big John it, it, Fury. <laughs> With a shirt on. Fucking Jesus Christ. I thought I was out of fucking shape. <laughs> I'll, I'll take anyone on, you motherfucker. That's what you said, isn't it? I'm a bare knuckle boxer. Come on. I fight all the, all the dogs getting all rowdy now. She heard the Irish. She don't like the Irish. Kirsty. Oh, she ignoring me. Typical woman. Yeah, no, no. no she, she don't like Jake Paul either. Good. Good. Do your doggo. Well, I'll tell you what, though. I'll, I'll shut up his... I know you, you don't follow it, but the wrestling... His brother did well in the wrestling the other day. That was quite good. Yeah, I've seen highlights. He, he did all right. He did all right. But for someone who doesn't wrestle, he was carried by Roman. Roman carried him big time. Yeah. But um, it, it, it was good. It, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the match. In fact, when it finished, I'd give it a round of applause. Not because I was happy it was over. <laughs> I'm quite often like that. I'll stand up and give Liverpool a round of applause when they finish losing. So I'm just grateful it's over. The pain's done. The pain, yeah, we've had a shit season. We won't talk about football. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We can talk about whatever you want, my friend. Well, I'll tell you what, I think it's just people's worked out how to play against us. I think we got an age in midfield. Um, Virgil van Dijk. He needs a partner. Guaranteed. Oh, I think Canate, the French kid who we got at the back, he's been a fucking huge fucking miss. Um, Trent's not right back. And all that. Um, but I will say, I like Nunes. I've got a bit of a soft spot. I like Luis Diaz a bit better. But Nunes, he's, yeah. he's a goal poacher. He's a natural goal scorer. What? what I like, he's just, he's fucking, I'm fucking predictable. You don't know what he's going to do. I don't think even he knows what he's going to fucking do. But he's young, he's fearless, and that's brilliant. Yeah. No, I like, I like watching him play. He makes the game fucking entertaining. He got called a wanker and a cunt against City when we was 1-0 up and all we had to do was square it to fucking Salah for an open goal. Fucking ponytail prick. Yeah. But he thought if we win 1-0, we keep it on the edge of the seat and make it more exciting for the fans. That what he thought, is it? Yeah. Not no stress <laughs> Yeah, but we can't explain the season. We've been Man City. We played fucking really well against them. Then we, we got, got to do the Yeah. Then we played really well against Spurs. And we did. We played really well against Spurs well, for 45 minutes anyway. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't know. All these fans calling for Klopp and things like that. I no, 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 no. Fuck, leave fucking Jürgen alone. He's fucking won every fucking trophy for us. He's fucking bought himself a bad fucking season. A transitional fucking season. And I think a lot of fans... Liverpool fans kind of expected this to be a transitional season. I kind of agree with you. Yeah. That's why. That's my personal opinion on it. I mean, I thought we'd be doing a bit better, but I've got a feeling we're going to go on a little run. Let the World Cup. The World Cup's kicking off now, so that's going to fucking help us with the injuries and getting people up to fitness. I'm looking forward to the World Cup. I'll get a bit bit excited. I've kind of fallen. I don't really like international football as much anymore. Yeah, but you've got to follow your country, Sid. Come on. Oh, oh, believe me, I'll be sat here. And when we're playing my country, I shall be singing The Stars and Stripes, a bigger night. Deep in the heart of Texas. Yeehaw, motherfucker. The sad, sad little man. Oh, I can't remember. Star Spangled Banner, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. 
Oh, I say, can you see? I'll tell you what, they might um, they might come second in the bloody group. America, they've got a decent team. Mm. They've got a fairly decent team. What's your 10 pence on Trent Alexander? I reckon against someone like Iran playing against against the USA or, or Wales, leave him at home. Not leave him at home, but you know what I mean. Can't leave him at home. You can't say, all right, Trent, you're playing there. Uh, we've got your ticket here, mate. We go home against the USA. Go on, go your feet up, mate. You don't. You don't have. Take him and can't use him because he's such a good attacking player. Yeah. And it, it's just that extra man, and he really does. If he if he's crossed that to Kane on Kane's head, fuck me, bang. Yeah. This is I was saying the other day on someone's Facebook status. They're saying Trent, he's made so many mistakes this year, and he has made so many mistakes, but you look at his past seasons and the assists he's knocked up. Oh, yeah. He's like, he's what, 24 years old, and he's like third already on the assists for a defender. Well, look, look what he did to against Barcelona that time. The boy, he has the ability to change a game. He did that corner when they weren't looking. Yeah. Give it to Origi. Origi! What a little play. He's at AC Milan now. Yeah, old Divock. Don't think he's doing very well there. Any? Nah, no. I like him. Yeah, I'm just waiting for the statue to be put up outside Anfield of Divock. I don't think it will be. That fucking club fucking legend. Amount of late minute, last minute goals that boy scored. Oh yeah. oh, yeah. I'll tell you, I, I, I do like, he doesn't play enough, he's Oxo chamberlain Yeah, he's been injured a lot, hasn't he? He's like that Arsenal, though. Yeah. Been injured a lot, and I think maybe the midfield's passed him by. He does, it... job for you. He does a good job. He does do a good job, but likes of Elliot, oh. Thiago... I love Thiago. What a... Like that ball, ball can put a ball anywhere. Yeah, he's one of the players I enjoy watching, Thiago. But he's fucking injured all the fucking time. Such a good and player. And he gets a fucking yellow card all the fucking time as well. Yeah, dirty little fucker, isn't he? Zero fucks given. I do... Yeah, I like Thiago. I think he's a quality player. Yeah, I've got, you've got him past his best, though. Yeah, we might have gotten past his best, but he's not a... He is a dribbler. He's very good at dribbling. He's not like a dynamic player who's going to fucking run real quick. He just takes his time. So maybe his best plays out a bit longer, if you know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. So I think maybe where he's getting a bit older, he's starting to pick up more niggles. And he's playing in the Premier League, which is a more physically demanding league than the likes of the Bundesliga and La Liga. And that's had a bit of a knock on. Yeah, I, I know it's Jürgen's been very spare with Henderson as well this season. Um, I think Henderson's on the decline. You're talking about yeah, give the the World Cup. Fucking, I was shocked Henderson got picked for the World Cup. There's like 50 <laughs> other fucking players I would have took. Do um, you think give the captaincy to Virgil? So either Virgil or Allison, you can't give it to no one else. I oh, love fucking Allison. In that team, he is the only player who is fucking world class. He's constant. And that man can... So much. And he's fucking so fucking good and he's so fucking I was gonna say he's so consistent. He's had a couple fucking gas, but all in all he is such a fucking good fucking keeper. Oh he's, he's top five in the world. Yeah, definitely. I'll tell you who else is actually I've just said he's done another one I think's world class. Fucking Robbo. Oh yeah, definitely. That boy he rarely has a bad game. I'll tell you what I do like in, in um, 
from keepers. It's Freddie Pope. Nick Pope, yeah. He's bloody good. Tell you, he come out of nowhere. I think he, he near enough keep Pickford out the fucking team. No, he was quite good at Burnley. That's where he made his bones, weren't it? Burnley. Yeah, it was good there. Newcastle, both, yeah, they signed a good keeper. They've done all right in the summer. They signed some good players and they're playing good football. Yeah, and they've got Wilson. I like him as well. He's all yep. right. I don't mind seeing Newcastle do well, to be honest. <laughs> they've only lost to us. So. <laughs> about to say, I only lost once. It was only to us. We had a bit of clock time in that, I think. Fucking right. <laughs> oh, you're... You, you think... Um, oh, Cristiano's talked himself out of a job. <laughs> I, I think it's disgusting how Man United have treated fucking old Ronaldo. Absolute legend of that club. Bend down to the boy and give him what he fucking wants. Absolute fucking legend. <laughs> A second goat he is. No, give him whatever he wants. Well, if it's true what he said about about his kid and that, that's a shame. That's, that's very sad. I've not watched the interview. I've seen clips. I've, I've seen the highlights of it. And if, if that really happened and the club didn't fucking believe them. Yeah. That's out of order. Yeah, no, I quite agree. Um, he should have gone in the fucking summer, shouldn't he? Yeah, he'll end up in the MLS. He'll end up in um, Major League Soccer, and he'll, he'll, he'll end up in like LA Galaxy or mm. or in Miami, someone like that. And they rip the place apart. Yeah, it's just a bit of a sad end to his Man, you know, United. Well, yeah, and he is a class player, Sid. You can't deny that, no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not the greatest, though. Messi's the fucking greatest. Yeah, but Messi never done it in the Premier League. He's done it in La Liga. Ronaldo's done it years ago in the Premier League. He ain't fucking been doing it much this year. Yeah, he's got a point. But I always think Messi should have come over here. But fucking no. Ford? Oh, well, there's only one team he'd go to now, isn't there? It'd be fucking Man City. But... Yeah, no, he's past his... He wouldn't get into City nowadays, I don't think. Might get not, into City. Not, not with the fucking Viking playing. No. Or oh, fucking Erling. Oh, my God. Do you know, I, I played FIFA 21 the other day because my FIFA 22, all the controls are fucked on it for some reason. Yeah. It's configured itself, so I'll put FIFA 21 in. Oh, I'll buy Eden Harland for Liverpool. 170 million they wanted. He's 17 years old. <laughs> I can't even afford him. Could it was a bit expensive, him. mate. Oh, I thought you're 17. How good, are, how good are, actually were, are you? It costs by class, mate. He is class. And he, and he looks like a Viking. And he's tough. and Yeah. I think if Roy Keane... Knew then what he knows now. I think he would have aimed at old Alfie's bollocks. Uh, <laughs> fucking smashed him. Instead of fucking his leg. He would have took his bollocks out. Is that, is that he broke his leg, was it, Roy Keane? Yeah, you fucking now. Yeah, Keane took out uh, Alfie Inga Holland's leg, didn't he? I didn't know that. Did you, you never seen that challenge? No. So what it was, I want to say... United were playing Leeds and um, Keane's gone down I think it's a challenge or something like that and he's um, torn his ACL yeah, or something in his knee and he's writhing on the floor and Holland's shouting at him to get up and stop faking and he's torn his something in his knee so Keane's waited a year and he's, he's playing against I think it's City when he took him out yeah. And he's absolutely fucking ripped him. I think he didn't play too many games after that, old Alfie Inger. But he fucking, he waited his fucking time and he got his fucking retribution and it was fucking brutal. What a player Roy Keane was. You'd have him in your squad any day. 
Yeah. I'm a Liverpool fan and he was fucking hated, but yeah. I used to like his style of play. He was just a fucking dirty fucking bastard. I just like that. Uh, um, like you used to like Roy Keane, like how he used to play. You used to like Razor Ruddock, like how he used to play. Yeah. If Razor wasn't so big on the kebabs. <laughs> well, smoking before the game, kebab after the game. Yeah. And what? And wonder why he's eighteen stone. So. <laughs> Not the fastest of centre backs. Yeah, but he'd do a job for you. I'll tell you, he was a good centre back. Um, he would pe- pe- not many people really say much, but he had a good little England c- career. Um, Ledley King, yes, after of injuries, yeah, but what a player! It would have been a better player if he didn't suffer with injuries, he would have been further in the game, yeah. He had to retire early, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he would have definitely gone further. If he weren't fucking his knee up all the time and things like that. Yeah, he, he was a good player, Ledley. Yeah, I saw, he, he runs a boxing gym in London now. Oh, okay. I saw some documentary about him. He was on there. Old Ledley. What, son? He won't, don't speak Cockney, does he? No, he doesn't. Oh, he don't speak like Danny Dyer? No, more raster, I think. More I can't do that. Try it, just for me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't do that. I'll, I'll, I'll do it too poorly. My my impressions ain't very good. He's done all right so far. Yeah, he's done all right. 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 Yeah, he's done all on Jamesy Bozart at the end of the month for, yes. for, our, um, for our night out on the 10th. So you can track yeah, the so. money. Yeah, go and watch Tank in Newbury. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. It'll be, it'll be all right, it'll be all right night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, be fun, it'll be good to get out. See some familiar faces. Yeah, it'd be it'd be good. It's a week after my birthday as well, so it's a bit of a birthday treat to myself. How old are you again? Twenty one. In my mind. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. Oh no. Oh no. No, I'm forty three. Don't look a day over thirty, mate. Oh bless you, ain't you a good boy? Seeing as you got the. Chocolate Dale going now as well. Well, I thought I'd give it a go. It's not too bad, is it? No. No, no, no. No, it's fine, mate. Not too bad, Alan. It ain't annoying me yet. As soon as it annoys me, it come off. Yeah, mine don't generally annoy me when it goes like that. Only thing annoys me is when you're walking down the street and someone asks you where the mosque is and something like that. Cheeky bastard. Yeah. And you've been near the candy box recently, you cheeky bastard. No, 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 no. We we try and stay out of Newbury as much as possible. We can't deal with the traffic. It's too stressful. Uh, yeah, it's fucking. Oh, they do fucking roadworks every fucking where. Yeah, that's Newbury. Yeah, every fucking where. I get on the A thirty four, and that is me. That's it. Straight on the link. Goodbye. Fucking too right. I'll see you tomorrow, Newbury. Shit up. Oh. White collar, who do you want to see fight? What do you mean? Like, oh, God. I know, Sid. To be honest, there's it, really some really good matchups out there. Mm hmm. Could write a few fucking names down, to be honest. Name a few of the good matchups. Bloody, um. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing old Bozar fight. Yeah. He's come, he's come along a lot, and he really has. Yeah. He's, he's quite classy. And um, I'm looking forward to Josh O'Brien as well. I want to see his highlights of his fight. He, he's looked like he put a lot of muscle on, and a lot of strength training he's been doing. Yeah, Josh is decent. He's decent. Been decent. He's only ever lost one fight. 
Yeah, to Albert. To Albert, and that was a close. Yeah, he got it back though, didn't he? Oh yeah, in lockdown he did. Yeah, he got that win back. He stopped Albert as well. Stopped him. Not many people can say that. No, not at all. And Albert's class. He's different gravy, but he's like me. He's retired now. Yeah, that's. He's got other things going on in his life which he he's likes got... to concentrate on. Yeah, he's too. He's too good looking, Albert. He should be in the ring. <laughs> I'd like to see Pagaroli back in there, Stuart. Yeah. I really would, because he's class as well. He's a good boxer. Really, really good. And um, he's, he's, a, he's a nice bloke, Stuart, really. Mm. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Well, there's a few shows coming over there. SMN show coming up, the Steve Murrah show. And you've got yeah. Bam Bam's fighting on that, so I'll be interested to see if he does really well. Yeah. And Tank's got a fight coming up as well. Well. Yeah. So, um, so uh, I think I'll be that. that. Yeah, he's fighting on SMM, isn't he? Is that, but he's in the hospital. hospital. Uh, shout out to shout him. Out. He's all right. Mr. T. I ain't getting on no plane. You know, plane. I ain't getting on no plane, you crazy fool. Who you gonna fool? <laughs> I ain't getting on no plane. Yeah, now he puts on a good show, Tank. It is always a good show. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, Jesus, I can't. Is it Alfie? Alfie Connolly? Oh, yeah. Absolute flipping class, flipping boxer. So entertaining to watch. He was in, when we went, he was fighting in uh, one of his prize fighters. Was he really? Yeah, the little fella. Fucking quick. Oh, quicker. I know who you mean. Yes. Class. Yeah, very, very good. And uh, little AJ went up and talked to Tank about sorting out a super fight with him. What, McKay? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. I bet Tank had <laughs> a fucking head off. Head off. Uh, and that is why you don't drink on an empty brain. Fuck that that me. That lasts about two seconds. I think he uh, had a fight uh, in Southampton. Yeah, he did. And he, and he lost. Yeah. I didn't see any highlights or nothing, but I knew he lost. Yeah, I see he lost. I got told he lost. Um, Got stopped. Oh, it was, ba- was it Basingstoke, not Southampton. Might have been Basingstoke, or it might have been... Kyle Cannon show. I think. I think it was. I think it was Kyle Cannon show in Basingstoke. Yeah, I think, I think you're. I think you're right. The guy was wrong. The Southampton. That's where Louis fighting next. Young Louis. I'm looking forward. Oh, to that. okay. Yeah. If he's trained right, he'll win that. He, he's a he's a title holder at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's white collar, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still good. It's something we love, Sid. For God's sake, you got it tattooed on your fucking chest. For God's sake. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm... Got it all tattooed on there, mate. Got to get it finished yet. You fucking get hold of Russell. Oh, no, mate. Things come up, don't they? Life happens. Oh, you need to cut the colour in pen. You'll be all right. This could be all right for the day. Uh, a bit of crayons. Yeah, cut the crayons. A couple of crayons. Yeah, I will get it done one day, mate. It's just been busy. Well, you, you've moved, moved on in your life, Sid. Haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Numb, numb nuts cost me an arm and a leg. Well, that's what... What a bit of minions does, isn't it? Don't oh, no, come nuts. Ghosty, do you want to come talk? Oh. Like, no. No, she ain't doing anything. Ghosty! She ignore me, little. Come here. Come on in. Come on in. You want to come and talk? Sit down then. 
Oh, bless her. Oh. You talk? No, no talking. No, she just let down there. Oh, my girl. There she is. There she is, nice and comfortable. Oh, bless her. Get up. Best thing I ever done, get a dog. Awesome it's nice. It is nice. A little fucking tart, so they want their paws fucking rubbed when I'm talking. Uh, that's right. How are you feeling with your retirement from white collar boxing then? I feel all right. I, I want to I help train on the other show and stuff. I want to help train people. Yeah. With, with Gary and that and Darren and and whatnot, because I want to give something back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fair yeah. enough. Yeah, I, was, I, I had a little tear, I will admit. When I announced it all, but I've got nothing else to prove, Sid. What have I got to prove? No, you didn't have nothing to prove anyway, mate. No, but I wanted to go one more time just to show I could do it, and I, I was glad to have you and Darren in my corner. That's all I wanted. Just one yeah. last hurrah. Yeah, you bossed it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I was blowing out my fucking ass, though. <laughs> yeah, you bossed it. You done well, mate. Blowing out my fucking ass. Well, I got a bit tad excited. Well, the only video I had of, the, of that Levi was 40 seconds of him beating the shit out of somebody. Yeah. Well, that ain't happening to me. He ain't flying out at me, so I thought, fuck it, I'm going to fly out at him, which is not what Darren told me to do. To be, yeah. To be Always this Darren. I listened to him in the second and third round. <laughs> <laughs> he said, relax. Yeah, chill out. Matt, will you chillax? Get out of the pub. That's what he said. I think it's something like that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was a good fight. It was a good... A good opening bout, anyway. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. And that Levi, I'll give him all the credit in the world, he's tough as fuck. But I never realised he was a gypsy till I went into the medical room to give him his can of beer. Yeah. And he went, fuck me, you went hard. And I oh, Jesus Christ, he's a gypsy. I didn't think you was going to say that. I thought you was going to say, you went into the other room to give him his can of beer. And you went, yeah, mate. And you went... Do you like dogs? Ah. <laughs> I've got a dog for you. Come on, come into the car park here, I, Jimmy. I thought fucking all, all his brothers would have turned up. All be fucked up. Seeing as I just had a fight with you, would you mind getting me somewhere to do some tarmac in night, Cloud Matthew? <laughs> well, he ain't on Facebook enough because I looked for him. Ah, uh, okay. So I was going to send him a nice message and that say thanks for the fight and things like that. So. Yeah, I mean, didn't have to take it, did he? No, he didn't. But he fucking, like I say, he's tough as fuck. He took some hits. Must hit him fucking 50 fucking times in the first fucking round. Ah, that's it. The old memory was going, because you was originally fighting Pret Love. Yeah, we won't go into that. And he pulled out, didn't he, through he not training? He just didn't feel fit enough. He didn't feel fit enough. And... He pulled out a week before, which was a bit of a arse, after doing yeah. that promo video and stuff. But yeah. If, if, if he never felt good enough, he never felt good enough. I was pissed off at the time, I will admit. But yeah. If you're not feeling fit enough week before the fight, you haven't trained. Well, not properly, anyway. No. And he, he, said, he said his coach has said to him about it, and um, is what it is. But that was the third time he's pulled out. For me. Yeah. So a bit, a bit, a bit of sweet. But maybe the match was never supposed to happen. No, one of those which is, it's a Habib Tony. Yeah, which just never happened. No. What would happened if Habib had got older, Tony? Ah, you know. Oh, his decline would have started a bit sooner. Yeah. Sooner. Uh, I don't know. It's it's always been my mindset. No matter what happens to me, I'm not pulling out of a fight. If well, I if I've told someone I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight. I remember second time I fought Jackie Boy, Mister Flanagan, and he kept go, messaging me saying, "Are you going to pull out the fight? Are you going to pull out the fight? Are you feeling all right?" 
I don't give a fuck if my fucking head's hanging off. I'll still fucking go in and fucking fight. That's right, we just took head on. You fucking... We was all fucking sick of all our chest infections, all of us. Yeah, but that's just fighting. my mindset. If someone's trained to fight me and they put in that time and effort, I'm not going to pull out... Show the disrespect to pull out. Yeah. No, no, because they've trained for me. It's fucking... It's disrespectful. Now, with a bit of hindsight, I don't think I really should have been fighting Jack at that point of time because I don't. I think I was a little burnt out. I think that was, was like my third show on the bounce. Yeah, you had you had a couple of quick shows, didn't you? Yeah. And I think I was just a little bit burnt out from it, but it is what it is. No one's gonna let him down. And it was a good fight. He's. A very good fucking boxer. He is a good boxer. Do you say what you like about the Flanagan? He, he knows, I know he gets annoying. He's been very quiet recently, to be honest. He's, he, uh, bless him, he's one of those people, if you know how to take him, you know how to take him. If you don't know how to take him, he could be an annoying prick. But that's kind of like me. If you know how to take me, I'm sound with you. But if you take everything I say literal, you're going to oh. think I'm a cock. Yeah, because if you think you're sarky bars, if you're sires. Yeah, I am. Guilty. Guilty, can't change that, mate. 36 years I've had that. Well, you are, you are silly and I love you, so that's all right. What yeah. Mean, I ain't never going to change. You're like me in the way. I would never just pull out of a fight. You'd have to kill me to beat me. That, that's what I've always said. Hey. Even that... Even that See that fight I lost against Chris Reeves? Yeah. I, I did really well. You did do really well. Against yeah. a boxer. I've got no regrets. I did at the time. I was pissed off at the time. Yeah. But I, I think I was more pissed off at myself as well. And I was in a different mindset. That's a fight I would have liked to see him run back. Think so? Yeah, I would have liked seeing it run back. So you could have trained for him and he could have trained for you and I think it would have made the first fight look... Yeah, it would have made it look paltry in comparison because you both would have been prepped for each other and it would have been an abs- It would have been a very good fucking fight. Yeah, and I, I had different, I was, I had different people in my corners as well. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think it would have been a good fight, mate. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, God, yeah. That, I never lost again. After yeah. That, never lost again. I, I've taken on some real good people. Glenny was fucking immense. Yeah. He's a crafty fucker, isn't he? He's dodgy as fuck, Glenny. <laughs> crafty <laughs> little fucker. Love him. But everyone I've ever taken on, apart from Chris, has always been like 10 years, 11 years younger than me. Yeah. Just trying to think. Jesus. No, I think Tony was older than me and I think Mikey was older than me. I'm not too Tony's sure. Tony's only about a couple of years older than you. Yeah. Oh, you mean Mikey Galloway? Yeah, Mikey. I think he was older. About a year. No, not too much. Nick was younger than me. Yeah. You should run that back. That should be run back. Yeah, you've got, but... You've got to get him in the ring. Yeah, it is no interest in it. And I blow hot and cold on the subject, mate. One time, you could speak to me on a Monday and I'd be like, I want to fucking fight, I want to do this and I want to do that. And you could speak to me on a Tuesday and I'd be like, oh, I'm not too sure. I don't know if I could be bothered. I've got health issues. You have this, got health issues. You, you just got a little bit of diabetes, that's all, which is controlled. Yeah, but I get problems with my head as well, which I do. I'm very forgetful. Well, you remember today's podcast, so that's all right. So you're not yeah. too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was... Hey, I'd love to see you have one more fight, but you won't do it. Because you can't stay with us. Gary. Yeah. I'd like to see him fight one more time. It, it it gets to a stage. Well, you've got to stop. That's why I got to the stage where you got. To... 
it's a risk vis it's a risk vis reward situation. Is the reward better than the risk? Well, that's it. And if you want to prove prove anything? This is me blowing cold at the moment. I can blow hot in a minute. I mean, all it takes is one punch. Change of fight. Punch. Person. I've never been a great ticket seller, so I get punched by the wrong person in the head for 50 quid. That's kind of my mindset at times, but if I could find a fight out there where I'm actually going to help something and help someone achieve something, I wouldn't mind killing a few brain cells for that. You're very skilled for what this kid. You know what you're fucking doing. I'll tell you, I've sparred with you so many times, more times than you, I can fucking care to remember. So, mm. you know what you're fucking doing. I don't know we try, mate. I mean, if I was to walk away now, I've had six fights, three wins, two draws and a loss. Two draws I've had was against Jackie Baby. a better boxer than me. The loss I had against Nick. Wait, it was uh, the wrong attitude. Uh, you, you, you let him play your game. That's what happened. Well, I've watched the fight back a couple of times and I'm not like certain boxers. They'll go and fucking... When you, when you went into that third round though, Sid, you bossed him. Yeah, that's. I mean, I watched the fight back. First round, it's close. Second round, it's even closer. The third round, well, I won it. But Nick's got a fucking awesome jab. You've got to give him it, that. Nick's but, decent and he's a nice bloke. I'm not sort of fucking. I don't bitch and fucking moan about fucking losing the fight. It's it's a fucking it's a white collar boxing fight. Losing that, I ain't gonna lose no sleep over it. Nick's a nice bloke, and he. Oh, Nick's, Nick's sound. Nick's he's sound. had his, he had his problems, and if beating me helped him with some of his issues, it made him feel good about himself. Blah blah. Well, I'm fucking. I'm all for that. I don't give a fuck. It's a fucking white collar boxing match. It's not professional boxing. I'm not getting paid bonuses for winning and shit like that. It's a it's a fight at Northcroft. Yeah, but that fight at Northcroft was was my my Wembley Stadium to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I do get what you mean. To me, I I started fighting very late. Yeah, yeah. So to me, that that was in um, and I used to push tickets on people and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I thought I did re- really fucking well. I did, and I'm very proud of my record and. My little career I had. I'm proud of my record. Yeah, so you should be. Oh, I didn't do half bad. Didn't I didn't do half bad. I don't think I think I was only ever hurt once in the fight, and that was only like fucking five fucking seconds. Who done that then? Tony fucking caught me behind the ear, didn't he? Oh bastard. You can watch the replay, you can see it, he catches me and I go, ooh, fucking stutter, but I'm fucking fine within five seconds. Oh, bloody, that was the most awkward I ever felt, because I knew you'd won the fight, but I knew you'd won <laughs> all that money for charity. It was fucking shit, mate, because <laughs> all the crowd were booing. I was like, oh, oh no. no. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> oh, what the fuck have these cunts done to me? I remember. With me cuddling you. Yeah? Tony thought he won. You had Campion going around saying he won. Oh, shut up, Adam. Adam. I've watched the fight back. I fucking won. Oh, you won that fight. I won, but he yeah. Moment. He did have his moment. Yeah, I felt bad but afterwards. He said to me, I think we see him in the walkabout. He said, you're a bastard. I said, why? why? He said, when you punched me, you burst my eardrum. Ruptured it. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry, Tony, mate. Uh, 
Is that... never, never seen him since either. No. No, call me the retirer. But well, that's what I did. I would. Hey, shut up. I would tie Glenny. We ain't seen him since. Yeah. I'd like to see him get in the ring now because he's decent for him. Yeah, but I think Glenn's one of those people. Like I was saying earlier, risk and reward. Does he's in his mind? Does he need to do it? No, not really. I don't need to prove anything. So why do it? I suppose so. I suppose so. I suppose you're right. Uh, just... I'd like that. In my heart, I'd like to see him fight again. I'd, I'd love to see Glennie fight. I used to, on the first show, that was the best show, in my opinion, for training. It was fucking bad. So many fucking rounds with Glenn. He used to get angry because I used to hit him in the same spot with a fucking body shot all the time. Yeah. And then he used to show little glimpses that he was half decent because he used to flip in, like, do a faint and clock me square in the fucking chin. You bastard. Isn't he? Yeah. Not as good as our first sparring session, Sydney. So. Yeah, I think I was crying in the corner afterwards. Crying at all, you sorry. Didn't someone say, they said, oh, you've been mugged? Yep. That was my cheek. <laughs> yeah, someone said, oh, have you been mugged? I don't know. The last one I thought was a bit better. But the last not sparring the last session. One. No, not the last one. When were we done the three rounds? Oh, when we had the mini show. Yeah. That was good. That was good. That was, it... that was before I took Mikey on. Yeah, that was before Nick. Yeah. Yeah, we, we went for it then. Yeah, it was entertaining. Take it easy. Yeah, you, you fucking clock Gary. <laughs> Who are you barking at? <laughs> well, it's your fault you said. Is that all you got? Yeah, I know. And you fucking went me. I thought, yeah. And I went, oh, obviously not. Yeah. I think I punched Paul Gary as well. Yeah, you, you, you did. You clocked Gary. I moved out the fucking way. Sharpish. Poor fucking Gary. <laughs> Sorry, Gary. Yeah, he'll listen to this later. Bless him. Well, it, weren't, it weren't intentional. It was Matthew's fault. He moved his fucking head. Yeah, never mind, eh? <laughs> hey, you know what? Sparring Darren for eight weeks solid, though. Fuck me. Yeah. Hey, it's Darren, Darren, Darren Petfer. Yeah, my God. Yeah, he hits hard. Not so hard, he's just precise. He's a surgeon. Yeah, he's a surgeon, yeah. Well, he zeroes in what hurts. Fucking <laughs> cuts and oh, all sorts. He's just so technical. Yeah, he always just hit me in my fucking body. Fucking bastard. Yeah, yeah right in his guts. Yeah, I think I used to give him like 50 quid an hour to teach me to fucking drive and he hits me in the fucking body. Yeah, for a bit of fun. Yeah, prick. Yeah. yeah. Tyler was like to see fight. He, he didn't fight on the last show because of injury. He hurt his arm. It's fucking Mikey O'Neill. Yeah. Mikey's decent as fuck. Yeah, I think he needs to fight cricket. You like cricket and shape though. What a fight that would be. Yeah, I think that's the fight which Mikey would like. Oh, that fuck one wants head. back. Yeah. He'd want to get back his win, wouldn't he? Well, I, I can't see that ever happening. Not, not unless it's on another show. No, neither can I. Unfortunately. I don't, I don't. I'd like to see Darren fight again, Darren Charlton. Yeah, that'd be good. Don't think it'd ever happen. He's got nothing to prove as well. He's got nothing to fucking prove. Like, I've seen, seen him fight loads of times and make your boy come out of a t-shirt with his fucking face on, on, on it. Yeah. Darren just fucking clocked and go. Clocked him. Mm. And that dodgy fucking left hook, he, he chucks like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a crafty fucker. Bastard. He just gets you with it. And you can't do nothing about it. You know it's coming. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's Darren. He was a crafty bugger. 
Bloody good boxer. Oh, look. Sparring some real good fucking boxers. Really, really fucking good. Mm. Yeah, it's like everything, though, I man. You've got to move on eventually, don't you? Well, that's it. Live, learn, move on. That is the way of life. Well, that is true, Sidness. It is indeed. White collar boxing. What about, would you like to see like an MMA show in Newbury or a bare knuckle boxing show in Newbury? I'd love that. I think that if we had a bare knuckle, I'd step out of retirement. Yeah, try it once. See, just see what it's about. Yeah, I think distance would be different. Yeah. And if it, but I, I think I would give, I'd give that a shot. I think you'd have to be a lot lighter on your feet. Not you personally, anyone. Oh, God, yeah. I think you'd have to be uh, defensive more. Because you wouldn't want to be taking any shots, and unnecessary shots. No. Well, I'm pretty good at avoiding shots, to be fair. Yeah, I've always been good at taking shots and walking forward. Can't do that in bare knuckle. No. Wouldn't work, but your leg could work on for you. Mm. Leg, leg for your jab, fuck me. You, no one would be able to get near you. Like you said, be light on your feet. Jab, jab, fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see a show like that, but I think there'd be too many insurances needed. <clears throat> doctors, and that. I think you need doctors and all sorts of, at the event, and that because of the type of show it is. Yeah, I don't think. I think if you'd asked me five years ago, I probably would have done one. I definitely not. I think it's a shame I've never done an MMA one. But I think I'd have been all right at that. Yeah, you would have got no kicking out of me, but you'd have got a lot of wrestling and a lot of punching. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be interesting to watch a Newbury, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Something different, isn't it? Something new. This is what I like about Gary's shows. He's not oversaturating the market, if you know what I mean. Does it need to? Because we don't need it too many times here. No. A couple of three times a year is perfect for us. Yeah, I quite agree with you. Otherwise, if you have it, because, because of that, people is watching the same fucking thing. Well, that's it. That's why you sometimes I used to miss a show. As well, yeah. on purpose. Yeah. On train. No, I think they're doing the right thing. Leaving it a bit and biding their time. Oh, for sure. So, when they next have a show, they fucking sell it out. Oh, they bang it out as well. They always do. They always do sell out their shows. But, hey, quality. That's what they're doing. It's quality. I've got so much fucking music on my fucking iPlayer because the fucking white collar boxing is unbelievable. <laughs> some, some really fucking shit, I tell you. Have you got my Enya on there? Your Enya, yes, yeah, I've got that on there. Bit of Orinco flow. For fuck's sake. What? What's wrong with Enya or Orinco flow? What's wrong with it? Fucking hell. Oh, fucking Enya. Enya's fucking decent. Hold up. Just, just to set the mood. Don't oh. be playing fucking music because it gets copyrighted this stuff, you twat. Oh. <laughs> and it's copyrighted. It will be if you play it on my bloody podcast. Uh, That's why I've got the TV off in the background. Oh, uh, I got you. Because I... That's why some of my live videos disappear on Facebook because I've got fucking UFC in the background or something like that, which I'm just watching as normal. Fucking Dana White taking you off of fucking Facebook. What a bastard. Yeah, and I'm talking about, talking about sensitive stuff as well. Bastard. Yeah, what a fucking knob. Him and fucking Zuckerberg fucking pricks. Yeah, and Vince McMahon as well. Wrestling. No, he ain't in charge no more. Well, not now, but all right, Triple H. 
Yeah, fucking bunch of fucking knobs. Oh, she's off. Cheerio. When are you getting Michael Bisbin on? Ha! That'd be my dream, Sid. That would be. I wouldn't know what to talk about with him. Drinking. <laughs> I sent him three questions. Three fucking questions I sent him. One of them had his T-shirt on. They didn't even play it on the show. Motherfucker. Maybe, maybe bloody... um. He probably gets fucking hundreds of the bastards. Funny. Yeah. Well, what you want to do, mate, you want to conceive believe. and then you achieve and then you might believe. Thank you for that, Sid. That's Sorry, on mate. It's on my leg. It's on, it's on your leg? Yeah, isn't it? Believe, believe, achieve. Shut the fuck up. It's on my leg. Oh, I don't need to be rude, is there? Oh, just getting the issue of the dog. The dog's being a dickhead. Old dog's playing on the bloody stairs. I can see it in the background. Dickhead, ain't ya, prick? Don't you pull that face? Why do they do that? You take some off them and they pull a sad face and they go back to being naughty again. Uh, it is what it is. Yeah, they're fucking little dickheads, aren't they? They're lovely, Sid. You wouldn't be without her. You wouldn't know what to do. <laughs> it's work every day. Aye. Take it to work every day. No, no, no. Just while Mrs. is on placement, she comes to work with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's a good girl at work. Just when she gets home, she gets a bit of fucking confidence about her and decides that she can misbehave. <laughs> she thinks she's the fucking boss. She fucking in. I'm the fucking boss. That's what I say to my dogs. I'm in the boss. I'm in charge. I don't think they listen, but... No, I don't believe it either. I, I like to think I'm in charge. Yeah, give off that illusion of ghost. Stop it. Self confidence. You stop it. She's gonna get told off when Mummy gets home. Why is that? We'll just put a new duvet cover on the flipping bed, and she's chewed a fucking hole in it. Oh, for fuck's sake! So you're gonna be fucking turned into a fucking handbag or something, you little prick. Oh yeah, never mind. Look, look, look at her. Look. Fucking savage. Oh, yeah, well savage. Fucking bottom my fucking foot. Ow! Oh, bloody hell. Ow! My foot. You prick. She didn't really spoke on this, has she? I thought she was going to be the special guest and give some insights. Yeah, because no insights. Nothing about mental health. Nothing. Oh, mental health. Talk about mental health if you want, mate. You can talk about that if you want. Well, I've been doing treatment. Yeah. I had the day off because I was, I was supposed to have Sovereign come round to do an electrical test, but because it was pissing with rain, yeah. I had to counsel him. Or I had to turn Matey Boy away. He was well impressed. Not. <laughs> yeah, I bet he was. But tough titties. Well, I couldn't lock the dogs outside, not in the fucking pissing rain. No chance. Yeah. no chance, but yeah, my mental health is all right. I have a few, few odd days here and there, but as you know, I'll text you if I'm feeling fucking funny. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not too bad. Too bad at all. I had the doctor call me earlier. Think about everything, what not. Just a check in. Oh, yeah, I oh, is. One of my cousins in the States hung himself. Oh, no. Yeah, he hung himself last last week. I didn't know him. Poor bastard. Yeah, it could be a fucker, can't it? Poor bastard. That's sad news, that is. Yeah, it is. When you feel like you got no choice, there's always options, always choices, isn't there? Well, I get in. I get on a low ebb sometimes, and um, I don't know where to turn. And I, I try and talk to you, and I try and talk to mm. other people who are close to me and whatnot, make me feel a bit better. But once I'm once I'm low in in a in a funny space, yeah, yeah. Probably, and that's, and that's, probably you get 
not you, everyone. Once you're on a low, you're feeling low in your head, and you're on your own, and you've got time to think. Oh, yeah. Fucking over and over and over and over, and you fucking complicate shit in your head. Then you get on a lower fucking ebb. You don't fucking never work your fucking self up. Your mind's your greatest fucking enemy. Oh, it can be, did. Oh, and I know that for a fact. I know mm. that for a fact. Yeah. I'll be at work and I'll over fucking think shit. Just because I've got nothing ah, else. You have, you have that last week. You put a status and I was worried about you. Yeah. I was just was just stuck in my head. I get stuck in my head from time to time. Well, what you do is can be quite lonely as well, on it. Mm. Yeah, I suppose it is, but it's just where well, you got time to think, and you think things over, and you think things over, and you make shit up in your head, stuff which ain't happening, and just gets you down. And plus. I've been getting tired of late. These fucking tablets are fucking bollocks. Yeah, but they're keeping you alive, Sid. To be honest. Mm. Yeah, I forget to take them. I get fucking numb toe. I've got to see a podiatrist soon. About your toe? Yeah. And about my feet. All in all, everything's good, though. That's good, then. That's good. Well, Rodney says hello. Rodney! Rodney! Ghost, look what a good dog does. You're a bad dog. That's a good dog. Oh, poor Ghosty. Well, we took her on a walk yesterday, and it was a pub cross with a chihuahua. Ah! Shit, you fucking not. It looked like a fucking gremlin. Oh, they're fighting now. Fighting now. That's what the flipping gremlins sound like the other day. Oh, Dottie's going for it now. Fuck mm. me. Oh, going for it. What's Where's that, Dottie? Ghost. 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 Ah, that's it. Are you looking at it? <gasps> no. You've been a good girl. She's waiting for me to put my foot back on the bed so she could bite me. Oh, bless her. Yeah, fucking dickhead. Turn her into a fur coat. Bless her. she got to go to the vets tomorrow. What's that for? Uh, so, teats. Oh, yeah, you said she might have had a phantom, phantom pregnancy. Yeah, oh, I couldn't remember what I said. Yeah, pretty okay. sure she did. Did have a phantom pregnancy. She's all right. She's just licking a lot. That's fucking, she's that's fucking she's a baby, ain't she? Charlie's fault, the rapist. Oh, no, one tried to rape her at her dog meet the other day. Oh, dear. She's running like the wind. Rape, rape me, rape me, my friend. Yeah, she's big dope. She's so fucking big. Just fucking tell them to fuck off and they'll do it. Yeah. Oh, uh, nope. Little dog, bully, bully, Charlie. Mm. Fucking day, that. Yeah, she's going to sleep now. Little prick. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. What else is on the agenda, mate? I don't know, buddy. To be honest, what do you want to talk about? Anything you like. Easy, mate. Easy, make a suggestion. I don't know, Sid. I don't know. Off who's getting up to get your notes, then? I didn't make no notes. Not for me and you talk. Don't need to make no notes. I've got Ozzy on next week. Who? Ozzy. Oh, Ozzy? Is he not... I want to say he's doing like a muscle man competition, isn't he? Bodybuilding, I think. I think. I've not heard, not heard from him... For ages, but um, I texted him early and he said he'd like to come on. Okay. Do it about next Wednesday. That'd be interesting to watch. Like Oz, he's a lot of time for us. He's a nice bloke. Yeah. Get him to get his Skype going. Yeah. I see how he's doing this. You've got to fucking get the Skype, the Skype fucking 
Yeah. You, know, I can't, uh, you can do it without the Skype. Yeah. You send an invite via Facebook and stuff like that, but it's a fucking nightmare. Nah. Nightmare. It's, it's just easy, mate. Five minutes, mate. You fucking. Skype. Mate. You want to come on? Ooh. Oh, wow. Well. Get out of it. It's not bad. As you can see, the dog likes her. Does she like the dog, though? No. Oh, Good! Chill out! It's like I've got a microphone. Yeah. Like I've got a microphone. Oh. Ghost! Leave her alone, you little snot bag. If she snipe, swipes you and it's me, I ain't going to be happy with you. Mm. So she goes, bites my foot. Oh, bless her. Bless her. Can't, be can't be rude to her. Hey? You can't be rude to her. Uh, I'll tell her I would like to see you have another fight, though. Going back to fighting. I'd like to see Tony. Yeah? Terry. Yeah. Tony was decent. Tony, it had. Oh, fuck yeah. He just, he, I think he was lacking confidence a little bit. Well, I suffered from that in my last fight, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I, lack, I have a lot of anxiety. I don't think I ever lacked confidence fighting. I always went in with the impression that I was quite overlooked as a heavyweight. People didn't mind fighting me. Well, they're mistaken then. I would want to fight you. Well, it didn't bother me, mate. Didn't didn't bother me. I think yeah. I think Nick Nick wanted to fight me, didn't he? That was his idea. Yeah, but he didn't get his all, all his own way, did he? Yeah, I'm not too sure if he'd want a rematch. <laughs> Ghost. I tell me, you're gonna be fighting in a minute. Yeah. Don't oh, you get me, Ortiz? Oh, oh. Let's call yes, mate. Yes, mate. Yeah, we've, we've done an hour and near on 20 minutes, bud. We've done really well. Yeah, well, I like to talk. It's good to talk. It's good to talk, and it's been very good to see you. And um, I'll upload, upload this to YouTube right away. Okay, mate. Right, you take care of yourself, and I'll phone, I'll phone you when I'm finished uploading it. All right. All right, buddy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Speak to you in about 10, 20 minutes. All right. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.